We're here at Ironman 4x4 HQ with their new ProForge control arms. And we've got Christian Ristel, he's the Ironman Suspension Product Director, to tell us a little bit about them. So Christian, why do we actually need to change our control arms? Well Penny, when changing the ride height of our four-wheel drive, such as after a suspension upgrade or a lift kit, the wheel alignment settings need to be readjusted. The original vehicle manufacturer builds a small amount of adjustment into the vehicle, but it's often just not enough to get you where you need to be. Okay. The Ironman 4x4 arm has been reshaped to reposition the ball joint and adjust the wheel alignment settings back close to their factory adjustment. This enables the mechanic to optimise the wheel alignment for the new ride height. So what else does the Ironman control arm do, Christian? In many instances, customers will also want to extract more wheel travel out of their vehicle and fit larger tyres. So the clearance around the arm has been increased to allow for this. The arm can be used anywhere from standard ride height up to around four inches of lift, if that's what the job entails. Yeah, so quite a variety there. Yep. So what manufacturing process was used in creating these arms? Uh, well, we looked at all the different styles available on the market. There's many different ways that a control arm can be made, you know, pressed steel, casting, fabrication, but we really weren't happy with any of the styles um, that were existing in the market already. We had to build something better, stronger and more accurate than what was already available. The process starts by 3D scanning the suspension in the vehicle. This enables us to get a full CAD model in the computer that we can start modelling and plotting all the suspension motion paths and geometry before we get started. Then we move into the 3D printing phase, which enables us to test fit and adjust the design carefully to make sure that everything is set absolutely perfectly. All the connections fit, the geometries, the clearance and everything is covered. And after a lot of research, we settled on using the dropped forge method of construction. Well, what is forging and why is it better? Oh, well, the process involves using high compression forces to compress the alloy material into shape using a precise die. And what that does is it alters the grain structure, presses it into shape and removes any imperfections in the material. It results in a much stronger and more durable arm than what a machined cast or a fabricated product would be. It's actually the same process used when they make high performance racing alloy wheels. Even your good workshop spanners at home are forged because it makes them stronger. Tell me something though, Christian, why don't the car manufacturers make it like this? Well, actually they do. Most of your high performance cars such as Mercedes-Benz, BMW and even Tesla use a forged alloy arm. But four wheel drive manufacturers tend not to use it so much because it's cheaper and easier to make pressed steel. They look pretty fancy. Do they need any maintenance? The actual arms themselves don't. Obviously it's a good idea to keep up regular wheel alignments during your routine maintenance, but the arms themselves are bulletproof. We chose to stay away from fancy joints like spherical bearings, polyurethane and uniball joints because they, they, they typically result in lots of noise and knocking and the need to grease them on a regular basis. The genuine style arms, they don't need anything. You fit them, forget them and you're done. If years down the track you do need to replace your bushes or your ball joint, they are easily replaceable with any OEM compatible unit. That's very handy if you're out traveling in the bush and you haven't got easy access to spares. They're ticking a lot of boxes. Yes, that's right. One last question for you. Are they hard to install and do you need to do any modifications to do so? Well, any mechanic with a wheel alignment machine would be able to fit these no problem at all. They perfectly integrate with the vehicle. They've got provision for all the brake hoses and wires. If you did want to use them in a lift above two inches though, you would need some other mods, but that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about practical suspension upgrades on everyday vehicles for everyday drivers. Well, looking at the factory one, there is definitely no comparison. There's no questions why you wouldn't install a set of these in your vehicle. And I know we've put one in this side of the Hilux, but shall we get to it and put the other side in? Let's go. <laughs>